Richard Krause. I was uh, really surprised at how frank it is. Mm-hmm. I've read a lot of these books. I have read books by people, and they, they give you a little bit of dirt from backstage. They tell you how great their life is, and away you go. This was really kind of um, eye-opening for me. What was it that prompted you to put down in book form sort of, you know, uh, things that a lot of people might not have shared uh, in this sort of venue? Um, I don't know. I, I'd never read one before, so I didn't know what was expected. <laughs> and I just wrote about my life, you know. I mean, I didn't see the point in, in, in leaving holes in it, you know, because everything I've done, I've learned from it, I hope. So, I, you know, I put it all down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, How, I, maybe I was wrong. No, I don't think so. No, the, the, this book, uh, from the from the opening uh, paragraphs, um, it feels different than these other books that you read. I mean, it starts with a very kind of um, uh, shocking kind of episode from your life, and when a, a, a book starts with a suicide attempt, you think, okay, well, there's no door here that's not going to get opened. So I guess that's the thing. W- was reliving. All of this stuff, which I assume you have to do as you're putting it all down on paper, was reliving this uh, difficult or traumatic, or was it cathartic for you? It was actually, uh, once I decided to do it, it was, I looked forward to writing every day. Right. Yeah, I looked forward to it. And um, it was cathartic at times and helped me kind of see a through line to certain parts of my life. Um, yeah, so it was a really actually a very enjoyable experience. I Once it was done, I was kind of nervous about at coming out, but you know, the writing of it was fun, and I didn't use a ghostwriter; I wrote it myself. So I think that's why it sounds different too, because I have a, a voice, you know, which my publisher realized and and uh, said, you know, you have to write it yourself. What were the nuts and bolts of it? You were how long did it take to write? What was your process? Would you get up at the same? I know a lot of writers and myself included. I have certain hours of the day that I like to write. So, what was your process? Uh, pretty free form, actually. Um, I got up and started it at like three o'clock in the morning because I couldn't sleep, and I said, "Well, I was, I'm going to if I'm going to do this, I'm as well, uh, the first one. You know, the lines are always the hardest." So I got up and just started typing, and then I wrote about thirty thousand words while I was doing a record. Actually, I have a studio, and I was doing um, Christmas record, I think, lullaby record or something, lullaby record, and for my the songs I written for my sons a long, long time ago, and I re-recorded them over Christmas, and so I go in there and work on those, and then come back and work on the thing and uh on the on the computer and uh it took about six months with rewrites right. and uh that's fast yeah that's yeah. very fast well i was i you know i wrote a lot i'd send i worked with stacy my my publisher and editor and i i'd send her you know like i don't know 10 15 pages a day and she you know put her comments and send them back and then i'd write more and then then once we were happy with that and I'd write more and then move on to the next phase yeah it's very detailed the book has a lot of uh, detail you name most of the names don't name all the names you name a lot of names went went through the uh, the bank of lawyers and a couple of them they said pull these (laughs) names because they're still alive and still working so right but uh, but there's a lot of names. There's a lot of detail. There's a lot of there's a lot of uh, um, recollection here. That uh, did you keep diaries or is this no. of the no? No, it's, I, we all retain everything. Yeah. You know, uh, I have one of the worst short term memories of all time, yeah. and uh, and I was concerned how you know that there would be giant gaps in it that I just couldn't remember. But as I start as I started writing, you know, and I'd sleep and it would. It would come forward, you know. You you never forget anything. I truly believe. You just file it further and further back, and I was amazed at how I did remember every section, every every change, every move. Uh, a couple of times, I I talked to my mom about certain things, about dates, and I went online a couple of times to make sure I was correct in dates of when things happened to me and that kind of thing. But but uh, yeah, Stacy, my my uh, publisher has you know since seeing things from people and past stuff that's been written about me and seeing that I was very accurate in my memory. <laughs> I, I like how it's all very much written in, in uh, the present tense. Mm-hmm. Oh, I good. Don't they, I don't know how to do this. And, and, they, were, and, they were very unsure about that. And I said, I want to write it in the, in the present tense. And they were going, oh, I don't know. But they finally relented after I read, run up, wrote a bunch and said, yeah. I said, yeah. Well, at first, it threw me. At first, it, like the, in the first chapter or so, I was kind of like, 
is it today that he's talking? Like, to, as I sit here writing today that he's talking? And then as you realize, as you go through, you realize, oh, no, he's very much in the moment of exactly what he's talking about. And it works. I think it works Good. really nicely. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah I, I felt it was the right way to go mm -hmm. um, because that's how I was remembering it, you know. Right. Do you think uh, that never having read one of these before, uh, I guess there was a, what's the, the, the difference, the, the opposite of an influence, <laughs> you know, they, yeah. there was no influence in, in, in this. So, I mean, was that, uh, I, I guess, helpful? I mean, my, my initial reaction would, I think, be to go and pick up a stack of them, have a look through, see what everybody else is doing, and then try and mold it around that. But I guess. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, uh, I don't read them generally, and uh, I've read a couple of, of but, uh, you know, past, but I, I, I've just read all my life, so, right. and I thought, you know, a story about my life should be a story about my life. Uh, I didn't, um, li you know, everyone's life is so different. I didn't want to purposely copy someone's, you know, path in their right. book. I mean, I wanted it to be mine and, uh, and original, so I guess, you know, I just kind of launched into it and started getting positive feedback mm -hmm. from the publishers. And so I thought, okay, well, maybe I'm on the right track here. There's stories here that I think, um, uh, you know, the, the, when you go to Vietnam, that was, again, completely unexpected and, and for me, unknown part of your career. But going there, but uh, there was um, uh, a death. I think we can say, you know, there's, I don't want to give anything much away, but I think it's hard to, but there are, there are elements in here that um, I wonder how difficult it was to write about them. That, that was very difficult yeah. because I still have issues with that because it was, uh, you know, I'm the guy that lifts bees out of the swimming pool yeah. if I think they're drowning, you know, so it was very uh, caught up in, in, in the spirit of war, which it very much was because we bunked with the with the GIs, we traveled with the GIs. We, the only people, the only other people we saw, other than the GIs, were the 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 local hookers right. and the local kid that sold us dope. You know, so we were very much lived in their world and adopted their mentality. And it's it's the mentality. You know, it was the mentality of war, even though we weren't going out every day like them to through the jungles. We were getting shot at and rocketed and mortared and uh, and in danger. You know, fear of our lives, especially uh, not having any. <laughs> defensive weapons. Well, said, well, hardly any clothes. I mean, you were giving away things, and you, like you, yeah. you, you had virtually nothing over there. Yeah, yeah. We, I, I, it was, uh, it was a. I was scared pretty much twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah. Um, when writing about something like that, uh, how do you think about how your fans will react, how your family will react, or, or was it just more important to you just to sort of? you know, bo uh, bare bones, uh, just put it all down. Yeah, I, I, writing comes first. Yeah. I mean, I am first a writer, and I've always known that. And and, and the story is mm -hmm. is uh, the most important thing. You know, obviously I'm not going to hurt. You know, there, are, there were things that would hurt people, you know, like my wife telling about all the whole sexual stuff. Yeah. She knows about all that. Right. So that's why she doesn't want to re read it, because she says, I've already lived it. I don't need to... You know, and we and we dealt with that head on, both of us, and uh, and decided, you know, and decided we were better together than we were apart. But yeah. but um, no, the story come is first because that's otherwise why write. You yeah. know, I mean, really, same with songs. I mean, I have said things in songs and couched them in certain ways. But you know, if I revealed what they were truly about, yeah. it would, you know. So I've always tried to write honestly, and and I think that's important and uh you know you you writing fiction you have to be honest too you know right. you have to there has to be an honesty in it I thought, thank you otherwise it comes off as uh bullshit you know well i think they richard Krauss.